Hello, Mr. YouTuber. How's it going? <laughs> you made me famous. Oh, the, oh, the roundabout, yeah. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, it's going all right. Oh, that sounds quite nice. And there's only a 4125. Well. Yeah, what, what have you got? A um, straight pipe on it now and off? Um, I brought it off my brother and the person that did that, yeah, straight pipe did that. Damn, it. that's nice. You every day, I chuck a uh, tracker under there somewhere. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There's track ones are there. So, yeah, nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you again. Keep it easy, keep your ten toes down. Uh, <laughs> Don't fall over. <laughs> I've done, I think my dad's already done that. He broke his toe. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Oh, someone's been camping. What we have here is the second best farm nearby. This is, no, I'm joking. It's a good farm. It's a great farm. I'm not um, putting any slant on it. It's a good farm. I just have my preference to a uh, Halen Island farm. It's so elite. And you know what? The thing I love about... I'm going off on a little tangent here. The thing I love about the Halen Island farm is everyone in there is so uh, nice. Uh, and it's like old school sort of uh, respect you don't really get from a lot of shops now. A lot of places. And a lot of places they're just looking at the phone, staring at the um, CCTV cameras the whole time and uh, following you around. Um, but this one, uh, they're just very nice and they're human. There's, there's no better way of putting it than they are human. On the subject of shops, do you know what I really hate? Quite a few shops I'll get profiled in. Um, it's because I'm uh, a little bit above average height and definitely above average weight <laughs> but um, it's probably because I also have my gear all the time and uh, and like to be fair my sleeves are rolled up I do look a bit rough because my tattoos and all this but almost every shop I go in I get profiled and I hate it because we shouldn't be judged like on the way we look so much like that and ironically enough, it's um, not the white security guards that do it. They're actually um, the ones that do it the least. The people that profile me the most are minorities that obviously get profiled themselves. So it's just a bit of a weird feeling. I don't like it, but you just have to get on with it. And the most ironic thing is I worked security in a shop at one point. And I've also uh, been there. I've been friends with nice and had heavy ass stuff thrown at me. While well, we're here, there is another thing I want to say about me that people probably do not know. Even uh, very close friends or family members may not know. Um, there was at one point in my life where I had tics, where my eyes would be going crazy um, and I would do weird things like that. Um, I've been on a TV show with my wife and uh, unfortunately I was ticking the whole time there enough on it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to show the footage because uh, copyrights and all that. But I do unfortunately still get ticks now. However, I can hide them incredibly well. Um, and when I do these videos, you will not know I've got them. Because I will edit them out or redo the part. But if you talk to me in person, 99.9% of the time, you will not know I've got ticks. They only get set off with, um, when I feel a certain way. Um, if I have certain subjects to talk about or, yeah, feel really down about something, they come up. Um, I'm going to leave a bit of it in. When I'm going to talk about an awkward subject. Remove the subject matter after, because I don't want all my business out there. And even the ticking thing, so you know what it sounds like and what it's like for me. I know there was a video I um, did a voiceover on and I accidentally left a few ticks in the background of the original video without realising I uploaded it and I was like, oh god, so that's embarrassing, but... Yeah. Um, the reason I'm bringing this subject is up is uh, one of my favourite uh, content creators, shall we say, 
uh, has ticks and I asked him if they had ticks and then after I thought to, I thought to myself oh why did I say that for because what's the point of um, like I don't know how to put it into words it could get them down and make them re-realise like after a while you can kind of forget your um, issues but then they can creep back up yes like I can't help it it's such an annoying thing to have it's not like um, a thing you learn it's a thing that sticks with you forever it just changes slightly with time I suppose